Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Better Presents. Now you might be saying, what the hell is this building here that I built? This was a really, really bad idea. As you can see here, latest death. This is a monster spawner. I built this so that I have a place to go and just rack up some really quick experience levels. Alright. It consists of some holes in the floor from creeper explosions. This is where I died. And it was a pitch black room. And the idea of this pitch black room is there's a doorway. A single file come I would be able to go in this room and then attack them. Boom, 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 boom. Well, unfortunately, when there's five creepers in this room at the same time, there's no way to kill them all at the same time. There's no way. You can't do it. You can't do it before you, it takes two hits to kill a creeper. There's no way for me to do it. Boom. One creeper went off. Boom, boom, boom. Two creepers went off. So I was like, oh, fuck. So I rushed back to grab my stuff. I got most of my stuff, and boom, blew up again. So I got to redesign this room so that I can easily attack them, make it in a way, maybe put up a fence. No, because then I can get blown up by creepers. Ugh! Quartz. I'll make something out of quartz, because I thought this blast-resistant uh, basalt would be strong enough, but you can see here it makes... It doesn't uh, doesn't take the... Uh, the power of a creeper is still too much. So I got to redesign that room. Because I still think it's a good idea. I just got to find a way to make it so that I don't ever die. Um, so, what did I lose? What did I lose? I didn't lose the armor, thank God. I did lose my pickaxe, my hammer, and my shovel. So that sucks. But you know what that means? You know what that means? It's redesign tool time! And this time I'm going to make tools not just with the... I'm, I'm getting better and better at this Tinkerer's constru Construct thing. So, you might be saying, what the hell is this pickaxe here? Well, this is my new and improved pickaxe. I made it out of cobalt, some of the cobalt I had left, and uh, slime crystals. So you can see here I've got a... Well, here, let me get it over to the Tinkerer's um, tool station. You can actually see the details on the thing. So it's got a durability of 1600. That's not a big deal. That doesn't matter. What matters is slime crystals are a two times modifier, okay? So the handle is made out of slime crystals. That gives me a two times modifier. All right, right off the bat. Now, um, hold on a second. I might be, I might actually be reading that wrong. Uh, pick, pick, pick. All right, yeah. Blue slime. Handle modifier two times. Now, two times. That must mean that it doubles the amount of durability or something, right? Am I reading that wrong? I thought it meant that I get two rights on it, but I don't because I always get the same number of rights on these on these tools. So, okay, but anyway, it's got a very, very strong handle, right off the bat, okay? Um, we'll worry about the details in a second. So it's got a very strong handle right off the bat. Then I made the binding out of cobalt, and I made the, ac and I made the actual pick head out of cobalt. Now, why waste the very few cobalt I have? Well, you can see here, alamite, mining speed is level 8. So if I made the pick head, the old one was pick head um, alamite, right? And it can mine up to cobalt. Mining head out of this stuff would only be 1.5 times, so mining speed is 8, mining speed is 1.5. That's bull crap. No need that, don't want that at all. Cobalt, mining speed is 11 for the pick head. 11, right off the bat, 11. So if we look at it, mining speed is 11 right off the bat. Okay. Let's just keep looking back at cobalt here. Cobalt. Cobalt is level 4 mining, which means it can mine itself. Cobalt. Cobalt is the ultimate item in the game. Oh, there's Manulium, but... Truth be told, Manulium doesn't grow in the environment. You actually have to make Manulium. So you need Manulium to make Manulium? I'll have to keep that in mind for mining. If I make a block of Manulium, it's not moving. i got to keep that in mind. Because if I ever do get enough Manulium to make a tool, I need a Manulium tool to mine Manulium. So I'll keep that in mind. 
But um, I'm starting to understand this a little bit better. So look at this. <clears throat> Manulium weapons are a base two heart damage, right? That's why I made the sword out of Manulium. So you get a base two heart uh, right off the bat. So it's two hearts on top of what a normal sword would do. All right, that's why when I swing this thing, I get like a 10 hit. That also has to do with the quartz, okay? But anyway, so let's keep going. So mining speed is an important uh, characteristic, right? You want to have a high mining speed, but at the same time, you don't want to have something that's insane because then you'll end up fucking everything up. So for the pick, the mining speed has got to be... It's an important thing to have good mining speed on a pick because then I can do quick mines, um, quick mine jobs. And for a basic tool like this, where the where the cast takes nothing, it only takes look like this one. It takes one, one, and this takes 0.5. So now I still have in this thing one more ingot of cobalt. All right, so I have one ingot left of cobalt. So if I can find if I can make something that requires only one ingot, which unfortunately my next set of stuff is not listed like that. Shovel. Oh wait, yeah, we gotta make shovel. We gotta make shovel. So let's see what the shovel's like. Shovel. All right, so if I make the tool rod, it's just a tool rod and a shovel head. All right, so let's get that. Let's get a tool. We got a tool rod. Where's the shovel head? Shovel head. Okay. Here's the tool rod. I've already got that done. So we can put that right back. And we've got a shovel head. Okay, now we got to make the shovel head out of something that's going to be very good. We could actually probably make the shovel head out of that last cobalt, which wouldn't be bad. So let's put that down. How many, oops, how many does this require? One. We have just enough cobalt to make a shovel head. Boom. Now cobalt is the most, um, most powerful mining equipment, or like mining material that there is. All right, so we come over here to the tinkerer's table. Uh, shovel, 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 shovel. Take our tool rod, which is this reinforced slime rod. And we take our cobalt head. Look at that, mining speed of 11 right off the bat. And mining level is cobalt. I can actually use the shovel to dig cobalt if I had to. And I have three modifiers remaining, <coughs> remaining on this thing. So the first most important modifier is a ball of moss because that adds the most important auto repair the most important ability which is auto repair so we put the son of a bitch in here put a ball of moss we get a moss that gives us auto repair all right auto repair auto repair auto repair and auto repair and auto repair so far, every one of our tools has auto repair on it. Now, this one I hate because it's such a waste. I could have put other things on it. But look, the excavator's already got a mining speed of 8, which is more than enough. Um, th these extra durabilities are pointless. I don't know why. I, I, I wasn't thinking when I did that. But anyway, okay, so next. What? Let's look back at the, at the book. Excuse me. What does adding certain items to your machine, to your like item, or sorry, what do the modifiers do, right? Okay, so tool station. Diamond adds resistance or extra durability and increases the mining level to three, right? Or, yeah, so that would basically turn a wooden, a wooden pickaxe into an iron pickaxe level, Okay. But we don't need to add resilience to any of our, our, our items because we now have the ability for them to auto-repair. Emerald does the same thing, only it does it by 50%, which seems backwards. I would have thought that, well, I guess 50% on a piece of wood would be pretty impressive. Here's the most important one. Here is the most important one. Adding the redstone. Okay, redstone increases speed. We're already on this bad boy here at speed 11. And speed 11. That's huge. That's humongously fast. Now this one is 11.1, .1, but it doesn't even matter because um, it, already, it already has tree, ca uh, tree capitation. So as long as I can cut the tree down, it, it works fine. 
this is mining speed eight, which is actually probably good because, I mean, I haven't had any issues with it. This thing works really wonderful, so I don't see any reason to modify that. It works great. There's no reason to change it. So let's see. We've got. We want to bring up the mining speed on this guy. It's already at eleven. We want to bring it up. But maybe there's a better choice, right? So let's go back to the book. Okay, you got mining speed. That's a really good choice. Moss on all of our weapons. Now, auto smelt. Smelts blocks as they're harvested. Sets mobs on, pi on fire for three seconds. Now, that sounds like that would be a good idea, right? Except for one thing. It doesn't give us... Um, it doesn't give us a good... I, I, I mean, it doesn't say it doesn't, but I'm going to assume that putting this thing with auto smelt would be like putting a, a regular ore into a furnace. So it'll give you a one. It'll give you one ore or one item per ore, right? Well, that's not a good idea. We don't want that. That's risky because then we'd be missing out. Luck. Now here is the most important thing to add to a tool. Luck. All right. Fortune, as you know, um, increases the things that you get. When you when you mine a diamond, maybe normally you'd get one diamond. With luck, you'll get four diamonds. Something like that, right? So luck is the first thing we're adding. And we're adding however much this is going to be. Wish there was a way to actually go even faster with it, but there's not. So luck. So now you can see this sucker's got luck on it. Okay, I, I you know what? That's a really annoying sound. I'm not going to subject you guys to that for forever. This video is more for a tutorial on how to do these things. Okay, so now we got luck. Luck is an important one. It's going to go on the hammer as well because and it's going to go on that shovel. Well, actually, it doesn't need to go on the shovel. It doesn't need to go on the shovel because I'm never going to mine something with a shovel that would would benefit from luck. Like, let's think about it. Okay, ores. That's all done with a pickaxe. Um, the only thing I can think of would be clay, but clay already drops like a shit ton, so there's no need. Right? Ores? Coal? Coal doesn't matter because it's mined with a pickaxe. So luck, most important one. We're going to add a shit ton of luck. Sharpness to my sword. I need to get more quartz. Now I do... There is another thing in the, in the world called quartz that I might be able... To, quartz crystal. I, I'm, I'm sure you've seen it. It's that blue block. Maybe I can use that quartz in here in place of the nether quartz because the nether quartz is hard to come by. And I want to bring up my sharpness on my sword up to uh, as maximum level as possible. Right now it's over 50. I want to bring it up at least up to 100, but I need a shit ton of level of quartz to do that and I don't have a lot. Fiery. Now I've already done this. I added blaze powder. Um, my sword is maxed out. I can't do anything about that. It's got it's got the sharpness. It's got the fire, which is actually the fire sucks because quite truthfully, it sets me on fire more often than it does anything else. Um, silky. Now here's one that I'm interested in. Okay, adding a large glob of aluminum brass or gold and a bunch of string seems to give the tool silky smooth properties. So allows blocks to be harvested quickly. Not compatible with luck or auto smelt. Ah, uh, ha ha ha. Okay, that's interesting. That is interesting. So I can't have luck and silky. Hmm. So that makes silky cloth, string, and a gold nugget. And then silky jewel is a emerald surrounded by silky cloth. Obsidian plate. So what is reinforcement? Well, reinforcement is the ability for the tool to avoid using its durability. Again, with moss, this doesn't matter anymore, so I don't need to do that. Knockback. Now, that would have been an interesting one. Knockback has a nice advantage. But the sword already does have knockback, but this would be like a ridiculous knockback. So this would keep a creeper from coming at you. But knockback's frustrating, because you constantly have to chase after everything. So I don't want to do that. Now, beheading is an interesting one that I... I, 
you'd collect a lot of heads, but what's the point? Who gives a fuck about collecting heads? That's stupid. Now, here's one that I really wish I should maybe make a, a sword for fighting in the nether. And a sword in fighting in the nether, I could add things like this wither bone. Where it is it? Where did I see that? So I could add this wither skeleton bone. And that would give me heal. That's an that's one I should have gone I should have gone for. Oh, but it doesn't it's not stackable. Okay, or it's not um it's something that wears out. Okay, anyway. Let's continue on forward. So this one would fight this does extra damage against spiders. This one does extra damage against zombies and skeletons, I would assume. But our sword's already done, so I don't really know why I'm looking at these ones, because there's nothing I'm going to do to change that. Now here's something, again, I could add a flux capacitor or a leadstone, um, a hardened flux capacitor or a leadstone energy cell to it. And that would allow me to basically turn it into a, like an uh, industrial craft drill where it uses energy versus using the durability again completely pointless because we have moss on it so moss circumvents the need for this because it will never ever um, wear out now say I want to add another property to this thing I can add a diamond and gold and that gives me another modifier but this needs to be done before you're out of modifiers or maybe it doesn't probably doesn't so adds an additional modifier slot but now I, this is insane to me Why would I ever want that would not otherwise stay? Now, adds an additional modifier slot to the tool. Now, but the name, this description makes me think that I could add luck and silk touch, for example, with a nether store and another star. And for Christ's sakes, to kill a wither boss to get a nether store, another star just to put it on a tool seems like a pretty, pretty big uh, request, wouldn't you say? But anyway, so luck's not going to go on our on our shovel. What else would we want to put on this thing? Well, the only other real option that's of any real use to us is increasing the speed of this pickaxe. It's already got the auto repair, so I never have to worry about that. And it's got reinforced too, so it won't even use some of its durability on a regular basis. 20% chance that it won't use any durability. So we're going to throw the lapis, or we've already thrown the lapis on there. Now it's time to throw the redstone on there. And again, I'm not going to subject you to that sound for the whole time. That's an annoying sound. And I don't think you need to endure it. Now for the shovel, what do we want to do? We want to increase the speed. So that's for sure. And what else would a shovel benefit from? I still have one modifier left on this guy. What else would a shovel benefit from? Now, shovel with silk touch would be useful in the sense that things like clay, let me just think this through. Durability, no. Durability, no. Well, this brings up its mining level, but I think it's already mining level three, isn't it? Mining level cobalt. So it's already at the highest mining level, so that's not necessary. We'll just leave it in there for a second. No, no. Speed, yes. Auto repair is done. Auto smelt. Now, that has advantages and disadvantages on a shovel. Coal doesn't smelt. Sand would turn into glass. I don't really necessarily want to have a shovel that only gets me glass. I already have a machine that makes glass automatically. Clay might turn into brick automatically and I don't really know if I want to do that because then I would lose the ability to use clay as an, uh, as an item. So, not a good choice. Luck? Again, what luck would I ever get 
from a shovel. Adds fortune or looting. Looting is not something I'm going to ever... I'm not going to use a shovel to kill anything. So... Oh, look at that. I didn't read that before. Adds fortune or looting. Depends on the tool type. Increases level at a maximum threshold. But has a chance of increasing before. So I literally have to take it up to 100 to be able to, before it works. Didn't read that before. Sharpness, no point. Fiery, no point. No point. Now, silky. Is I'm just trying to think if there's anything that... Silky doesn't make sense on a shovel either because there's nothing that you mine with a shovel that needs to stay in its original form. Now, it has moss on it, so I don't need to put this obsidian plate either. Yeah, so you can see here there's no there's no advantage to adding the, that last modifier. All I would be doing is adding or wasting resources, and there's no reason to waste resources on this tool. Like if I put this obsidian plate, I'd get reinforced plus. Reinforced plus. X plus. So I wonder exactly to what level of reinforced that would take it. Three? That would give me reinforced three. I don't have a reason for that. They all auto repair. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm not going to waste it. I'm just going to keep it off. But anyway, um, so you might be saying, well, how do you make... Certain things can be made out of this guy here. I'm just going to wrap this up with a quick review of how these, how these things are done. All right, so once you have these bindings, so you make, what you need to do is you make a blank, uh, blank pattern, which I think, if I remember correctly, is just, uh, no, it was with sticks. Hold on, give me half a second. I just want to show you guys this because then you'll know. Yeah, okay, so you, just this pattern here makes you a blank pattern. I don't know why I'm getting these achievements now. I've done this a long time ago. Uh, no, here you are. Excuse me, stencil table. You put the blank pattern down. And then you simply select through what pattern you want to do. And you have to know what these patterns, you don't have to know what these patterns are because they actually will hover, you hover over and it tells you. There's the pan pattern, wood, knife, ya 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 ya, chisel head, right? So for marble, that would be something that'd be useful at some point. Okay, so once you have your pattern, you take the pattern over to the pattern table, and using something like stone, okay, if it's something that's going to be, you're going to use it for smelting purposes. This? I've made this a few times, haven't I? You take it, you put stone here. Sand does not work. Dirt doesn't work. And I don't have any stone on me. And you can't use that. Gold. Can't use that. Okay, so you'd have to put stone. Alright, so you put stone. And that will give you a stone print of this um, this head here, okay? A positive. It'll give you a positive. That's a negative. It'll give you a positive of that print head. Okay, and you just keep the stencils. I can't even keep blank stencils in there. I forgot. You keep the stencil in there, okay? So so now we'll say we have this. We have this stone positive, okay? Well, now we want to make a negative. Whoops. Because we want to make it out of alumite, for example. So we put the negative on here, and we would choose aluminum brass or gold. Aluminum brass or gold are the only two things that you can make these out of, okay? So then you'd pour aluminum brass or gold over this, I recommend aluminum brass early on because it's considerably easier to make. Uh, gold's a little bit more rare. So now that you have an aluminum brass mold, a negative mold, you would take that negative mold and you would put it onto this table here. So I want to make this, for example. Boom. I take a, my, my negative mold and I would put it on here. I would select the material I want to make it out of, in var example, and then I would open up the spout and it would fill up and give me an, uh, a rod in this case, okay? That's, now for something like slime crystals, well, how do you make it out of slime crystals? Because slime crystals, you can't smelt slime crystals, right? Okay, so what you do is you take, 
your slime crystal, and you take it over here to your pattern table, and you would select the pattern you want, and then you would put the slime crystal in this slot here, and it would give you that item. Uh, so much like how you used stone originally to make a positive, well, now you're actually going to make the tool uh, item with the slime crystal, or the fiery crystal, or not the fire crystal, but the slime crystal, whether it be blue or green slime, it doesn't matter. Okay, and the book gives you the recipes on how to make all those things. So, I still have to make the hammer, um, which I'm not going to... What are we up to? 25 minutes. All right, so I'm not going to bother making the... Uh, showing you guys how to make the hammer. I think this has been enough to show you. And I just really wanted to educate you guys a little bit on the basics here. I think you've learned it all now. But that's how you use the Tinkerer's Construct. So it's a genius, genius item. Um, it does smelt you two ores per item. So let's see if we can find something that only has one. So there's... Uh, I don't want to do that one. Gold. Okay, so there's... Let's just grab one piece of gold. I want to show you guys this. Where's gold? So we have seven nuggets. We don't even have a single ingot of gold in there. So we throw in gold. Oh, that's going to give us... Um, shit. That, that is going to turn into Electrum. All right, so just let's watch for that. Because there's seven silver in here. I didn't realize there were seven ingots of silver. That's going to turn into Electrum. But it should give us two Electrum. Is there any Electrum in here at the moment? Molten Electrum. That should give us two Molten Electrum. Oh, four. Four Molten Electrum, eh? Oh. So that would turn it into dusts and then back into this? Well, either way, we just... using Now, where's the silver at? Because the silver is going to give us the answer to how much... How many silver ingots were in here before? Six? So it just made us two, two gold and two silver made us four electrum ingots. So you can see here the, the benefits of, of the Tinkerous Construct. It, it increases uh, exponentially. So that's, um, that's my Tinkerous Construct episode. I hope you guys didn't find it too boring. I just really wanted to give you a heads up on how to use this thing because it's fucking brilliant. And I don't know why I waited to like episode 33 or whatever this is to, to give you guys a heads up on how this works. But I think it's because I've finally mastered how to make tools properly. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.